right. All right. How's everyone doing today? Do you want to do your intro? Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you for reminding me about that, because I probably would not have remembered otherwise. Of course. All right. <laughs> so, hello. Hello. I have arrived. Future man, researcher, artist, and part-time executive bartender. You can call me Tiberius Vanderbilt. Uh, yes, and tonight I am joined by Shepi Sheps. You sure you're not hitting the sauce early? <laughs> I have never hit the sauce. You've never drank? No, not oh. uh, recreationally, anyway. Okay, so non recreational alcoholic drinking. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, yeah, which and is I to am... say that I have. Oh. I am Sheppy Sheps, the explosive YouTuber. And, yeah, uh, I'm I'm moonlighting as a uh, bartender for right now because I have some legal fees I need to pay off. Anyway, uh, and I'm also I'm here. Jordan. <laughs> yes, and Tiberius is also here. And uh, right now, I'm going to play the game. How was your How was your week, Tiberius? We couldn't get overall. We couldn't hang oh. out uh, at all last week. So yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> we uh, we saw an imaginary friend last time. Mm -hmm. It was. Uh, uh, only we could see. We're, we're, we're undergoing some sort of psychosis. And, uh, Something like that. Jill is freaking out. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> hmm. Let's find out. Indeed. Ready to go? Uh, yes. Give me just a second. There we are. Okay. Oh, you've been we uh, sliced into pieces. Hold on. Let me fix that. Oh, God. Am I still the splatling? You are the, you are the in in inkling right now, yes. I am, I am an inkling. I'm, I, I love that. I love that. Um, I love mm. that one. It, it's very nice. It's a, it's a very mm. nice model. Uh, and, and, and it's very high quality too. Like it's uh, animates while I talk and it, I'm still bouncing go. when I'm not talking. Mm. All right. I'm having some issues with it and my uh, setup here. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have some idlers in chat. How's everyone doing in chat? Yes, yeah. hello. Hello. H hello. Hello, everyone. All right. Will the model sit still? Or will the reactive sit still? Yes. Okay. There we go. This should be sufficient. Very yes. Very good. Very, 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 very good. Mm -hmm. Let me scale <laughs> you down just a little bit. No, to keep me big. Give me huge. Well, I would like the screen to be visible, ideally. No, I'm the main attraction. You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm the enough. reason why everyone shows up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't do this without you, buddy. Who's gonna Thanks. voice the boss? <laughs> All right. Like I was telling you earlier, this week has been kind of poop. Um, mm -hmm. at work, like two pe people on PTO. Um kind of crappy that i have to um do all the work and all management can say is yeah that's understandable sorry sucks to suck like well that's not that's not good enough get some more people come on i, I know i'm two people i'm one robot and a human robot cyborg but we're still like one unit mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no sheppy without sparks there's no sparks without sheppy but and but i am i have been drowning in work on my my subathon i've created lots of neat things for it <laughs> so can't wait yeah. to show it off looking forward to that yeah let's play the game all right all right load yeah we're getting pretty close uh, to the end of the save files if i remember correctly we're at no. save file oh, two. Right, we did. We did have to restart or restart the yes. things. Yes. Indeed. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the seventeenth. Make sure your Hold account on, this has is at the least. Past. Are you sure? Yes, we've time traveled. This is the fourteenth yes, so of December. The, so we have. So we have. Look, I saw May. I saw the date. I saw May. And I thought, hey, we're in May right now. <laughs> we are. We are in May right now. So we've been doing this for over a year. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy 
fuck. <laughs> this is a this is a series that will not die. It is not, or it will not even. Uh, load. Well, there are only fifty-two weeks in a year. Uh, hmm. there has been. Hold on, did we? Just... Yeah, those are all the twenty twenty-two. So we haven't gone. Okay, we didn't. We didn't have to go back to the first one, the first page, just yet. It seems like May fourth, two thousand twenty-three. That, that looks like that looks right. That sounds that... right. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, right. well, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is and you have P in front, right, right, right. so that it's day, month, year, which makes more sense than month, day, year. What's crazy Americans? Like we like doing things the hard way. <laughs> All right, huh? this isn't quite the right save, it seems like. Uh, exit. Um, we're time traveling. We are. Hmm. So, let's time travel to the correct time, ideally. Yes, yes. None of this Load. temporal, displacent nonsense. Had enough of that. 2022... 2023. Hmm. I don't think we saved. Hmm? Is it not the... Is it February, not the February. April 27th? April 27th? Um, well, actually, no, that wouldn't be it. That makes no sense. <laughs> I got, the, no, yeah, I got the four and the five uh, mixed up again. We didn't We didn't save. Uh, it seems like it. <laughs> okay. What's the skip button? Shift? I think it's shift. Nope. Oh, there we go. Beer. Uh, beer. 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 I think I... Can I remember how to do a beer? I think it's like all don't. the ingredients. It's like all the ingredients, I think. Yes. But some are more than others. Yes. Karma tree. All mixed. Very good. Sugar uh, rush? Sugar, sugar rush. To Adelheide, powder delta, with optional carmatrin. All mixed. All mixed. There you go. Bubbly. Let's get a bubbly drink that isn't a beer. Um, not a frothy water, cobalt velvet. Uh, that sounds fine. Because a fringe we were, I don't want to, I don't want to knock her out. Mm -hmm. And five karma tree. All in the rocks and mixed. And there we are. Thanks. Hey, Joe, I'm going to need some ice. Okay. Oh, there's our It's friend. you! It's you! Hooray! Okay. Wow. That's amazing. We did it. Rent is due on the 30th. Please Man, make sure really you're just. This flew by today. This this feels like a really short stream. I mean, we're time traveling. We're uh, we're 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 doing some Doctor Who bullshit. I mean, yeah. Jill has just watched Night of the Id Snatchers. Buying a poster of it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Let's go shopping. All right. Mm. Uh, movie poster, I assume. Mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Night of the Id Snatchers, the beloved police mockumentary. ID snap. I it's not id, like like the Freudian mm. id, super ego and ego. It's ID. So literally ID. Okay. There Good we job. are. Looking at the poster, Jill managed to get Gabby off her mind, even if for just for a little bit. I'm glad. Is that is that the apparition's name? No, the apparition is, uh, <clears throat> oh, I didn't write down her name, but I'm pretty sure it's Anna, I think. If, I think that's the name that I saw in the text boxes anyway. Ah, uh, yes, yes. There will, there's, there are cats in the heat outside. I'd have blue balls if I still had any. Oof, 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 oof. 
Let's feel sorry for you. Oh, there's some 4chan news. Indeed. Yoro Yori. We read Yoro... that one, I think, before. Uh, yeah, you might you might be right. Grand Slam Fighters. Hmm. Drink time. Rat lurk. Have fun. Have a good lurky lurk, my friend. I'm also for going rat. to. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. I'm gonna throw that away. Ah. Is anyone into wrestling here? I became a huge fan of GSF very recently. It's a really solid product in my IMO. Much better than the E. I like the match quality, but I wish they gave importance to the mid card. Are they, are they still forcing 66 American Kid into the main event? Yep. He's going to face Yusuke at the Dome Show. Fuck. Why did they push the great DK instead? Donkey Kong? He's much more talented in 66. Because American Kid actually moves merch on, like, your indie darling. I want to marry Yusuke. Who doesn't, really? Who's hyped for the Women's Championship? That one should be the main event, not the turd we're getting instead. 66 is pretty good. Just watch some of his work in Japan. Everyone tells me 66 was better in Japan, but all I see is lo uh, locks and arm bars. Nothing that impressive. Wrestling is... The admin. The admin is like, wrestling's fake. Fight closed. Get owned. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you. Um, did we read these two? I know we read the first one. I don't know if we read the Model Warrior one. Anyone watching it? I don't even have a TV. So useless. Julianne is old and busted. I heard you talking shit about my wife who like I wouldn't find out. Is it going to be censored? I don't think so. The show was rather tame as far as I know. I'm going to marry Julianne. Every, and there's always someone who wants to marry someone in these threads. It's 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 that's lovely. It seems so. Oh, oh man, I remember watching this show back when I was like 10. I think I discovered porn thanks to it. You will never discover the Rule 34 for the first time again. Why keep trying? <laughs> never seen this show before. Is it any good or is it just a meme? It's a meme show. There's nothing outstanding. What about the sequels? Are there going to be broadcasts as well? The sequels are shit. The admin was upset. The threat is closed. All right. All right. News. On the news. Biker gang arrested after vandalism. Biker gang arrested after vandalism during protests. Anna Smithy. The members of one of the largest biker gangs in the Motor City sector were arrested after the group's leader and their and her entourage were found at the site of a protest last Friday. Hmm. Let leader. me interrupt real quick. Yeah. It occurs to me, have we have we seen an article written by someone other than Lana Smithy? I feel like we I, must have at this point, but she's the only name that I can remember. I'm pretty sure this is a st this is like a stand-in pen name. It's not their hmm. actual name. It could be it could just be. everyone. Uh, just everyone uses this name and just publishes article under this name. Fair enough, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, continue. Their leader, their leader, commonly known in the streets as Christine Love, de uh, declared to the press that they were unjustly arrested and that her gang was only there to defend protesters from the White Knights. They're afraid of us. They know they, they can't take us down on the streets. So they use protesters as a shield, and we had no option but to surrender. Love told Augmented Eye during a phone conversation. They're currently detained and waiting for trial. The formal charges are unknown. Seems like the audio is a little bit loud. I'm going to turn it down. Just gotcha. a smidge. There we go. Parliament discusses anime influence. As one does. <laughs> anime has gotten too big. We need to regulate. You want to you want to read this one? Sure. <laughs> During an unusual meeting held at Parliament today, delegates discussed the effects of anime on the population. It's nothing but filth, trash. A representative for the Workers' Party yelled during the meeting. If I could choke every single writer and animator out there, I'd do it. I choked them with my own enhanced hands. What the fuck? Jeez. I think, I think that person is maybe a little bit upset. 
yeah, th their waifu died in their in their favorite anime, and now he's on a crusade or something. I don't know. Tragic fate. Yes. Several anime studio heads have responded to the news. I think they would ban it if it wasn't bringing so much money into the local market, Yama K, a producer, told the Augmented Eye during a phone interview. I do agree that anime is trash, but I'll save the genre. You can trust me. <laughs> ah, yes. Important topics and all. <laughs> Taylor the Brain, hired after name change requests. A couple of weeks ago, we wrote about Taylor, one of the brains from the Sola Anima project. One of the highlights from the interview that was unfortunately stripped from the finished version was a stray comment about how many people asked Taylor to change their name to Brian, uh, Brian on a regular basis. I know people try to be funny, but I won't change my name for a punchline, Taylor told the AE team. I like the name Taylor, and there's nothing wrong with Brian. I just don't, I just won't be part of the joke. My life is worth more than that. Taylor is currently looking at their chances of becoming a senator in the upcoming electoral season. Great. We're, we're, we're electing brains into Congress. That is our future. It's better than the alternative. I mean, Jill's in, Jill is in favor. Taylor! <laughs> I guess you're right. I mean, you couldn't do, you couldn't do worse. I mean... If they're smart enough to become a brain in a jar, I mean, I'd vote. Mm -hmm. I think, I'd vote. yeah, Taylor, Taylor the brain in the jar is is uh, one of our customers, I do believe. Yeah, I have you might be right. I have them written down. Yeah, you might be right about that. I am right. Let's about go to that. work. I have it written down that they that they are one of our customers. Very nice. Let's yeah, go Steve to voice work. Taylor, in fact. Let's go to work. <laughs> Let's go to work. Let us go, indeed. Let's go. Let's go to work. Okay. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Isn't that a bit too soon? <laughs> we just had a mega Christmas party. Why? Someone famous get killed at a New Year's party? Probably many times. No, I, I mean... Never mind. I, I just don't like being in big... Sure, I'm in for it. Because you're going to be there. Great. And Gil? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. Hey. N no. I, I, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client of his to the station. Should be back any second now. Back. See? So, you're coming to the New Year's party too, Gil? It's not like I have anything else to do, so. <laughs> I told you. We're depressing people. Uh, yeah, the kid from the other day, Gabby, I think you called her, asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. A note? Gabby? Well, let's see. <clears throat> uh, wait, is this the, um, is this the, uh... This is the sister, yes. Our sister. The... The, 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 no, no, the, the sister of our deceased ex-girlfriend. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, did you voice her? Yes, or, I did. Or, okay, go ahead. I'm trying to, trying to recollect the voice that I used. Probably pained <laughs> and, pained and sad. First, she was just kind of creepy, so that's more or less what I settled on, so. Uh, yes. First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior before. I was still hurt by my sister's death, and it wasn't fair to take out all the stress on you, let alone put the blame on you. And so, it feels weird to ask this of you after how I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up, to chat for a while, to do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I want to understand this freedom you talked about, the fear that drove you to a fight with my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take much of your time. If you don't want to see me after all that, I'll understand. But please, I really want to talk to you. Gabby. Wow, that girl has a big vocabulary. She was always a smart one. Hmm. 
Ari's purse is written in different handwriting. Oh yeah. She asked me when I, I when you would be here and relatively free, so I told her about the party. I also assumed you'd say yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea now that I think about it. And I slap Gil in the face. <laughs> like through the television, like through my monitor. I just want to slap him in the face. You can certainly for being try. Sober. <laughs> Any I'm luck? Trying. No. Uh, let me try mm. again. Uh, let me let me try. Uh, wait, I, I have a sound for this. It's not working. Sounds are not working. Tragic. Uh, uh, no, no, my sound, my soundboard isn't working. I need to get this. Uh, I need to get this figured out. Soundboard. Mm. Anyway, imagine I'm doing the punchy noises. Whack. There we go. There. Hey. Boss, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. What? Why? Because I really don't want to face Gabby again. Now it's coming back to me. What drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years? Fear and shame. Shame because I didn't... I know I didn't made a hideously stupid mistake. And it's painful to face your mistakes. And fear of what they might say. With Honor, we never broke up formally. So I was always afraid of that we were to meet again. She'd break off with me. I don't want to face Gabby. I want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Lenore was in the right to break up with me, and Gabby is to in the right to hate me. But I want her. I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'll never tell me that. And Jill, you. Idiot! You baka, baka. Eh? Eh? Not eh? You're thinking backwards. Didn't the letter say she wanted to understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live out the rest of your life running from another memory? Nondeska. Oh. Naruhodo. Didn't you just say to Armitage that you hated feeling like that? Armitage? I would imagine he would say it like that. Armitage? <laughs> the hacker. To the hacker. Oh my right. I don't know what happened when you fought with that girl's sister. But now you have a chance to make amends. And not only that, you have us watching your back. So, I want you to think about this. One day of fear, or a lifetime filled with regret, with regret. Which one do you pick? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I hate it feeling like that. I won't run away this time. Good, because I would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be. <laughs> hey, 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 boss. Uh... Thank you. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Anyways, let's start the day. Any changes to our mixtape? Uh, I still don't know the songs available in this game well enough to be able to say which ones I want to hear specifically. That's the beginning song. Why haven't we been using this song? I don't know. I guess we just sort of picked some at random first, and we just sort of stuck with them. I'm going. I'm going to put this right here. Sick. Uh, which one is like the breakbeat one? March of the White. I I'm going to put this. A... I'm... Oh wait, what? what I think there's say? a couple, couple break breakbeat ones. I don't remember which one specifically. Is that though, or I'm which ones to... specifically would be those? Coming sensitization. That's good. That's good. Good for health. Bad for. It's just kind of like a. 
this kind of goes into like a like a house beat. This is like a mysterious song. It is. I have a lot. We have a lot of missing songs. Do we get those later? I think those are just open spaces, wouldn't they be? Oh. Or no? Or no? Never mind. What am I? I'm. Pardon. I was looking at the wrong side of the screen. <laughs> yeah, there's some, there's some like question yeah. marks. Yeah, I thought the songs that we were selecting from were on the right, and the songs we were adding to were on the left. Mm -hmm. That was cool. I like that. I like that one. Um, place that one. This. Here we go. Answer lies within. That might be a little bit too chill for me. Um, I like it. Digital drive. Karma dream, uh, alcoholic dream. I also like this one. Hmm. Pretty nice. Uh, I'm just going to throw them in random places. Fair enough. Hmm. This is definitely not one we've heard before. I feel like if well, this game had a battle theme, this would be this this would be one of them. Yes. Jill has encountered drunkards. What do you do? Um uh, tense. Tense. That's kind of like a like a jazzy jungle beat. Hmm. I'm I'm just gonna go. We can if you if you want any you can like listen to your own time and be like, here Sheppy, I want this as our mixtape. <laughs> time to mix drinks and change lives. Also I noticed it a little while back, but I think that character on the television back there is Model Warrior Julianne. I think you're right. Yeah. I think we can get some, uh, I think that's part of like the wallpaper camo we can get. You can get like some, like, I think we have that as our wallpaper camo, actually. I don't yeah. think, I don't think that's our wallpaper. Nah. Like, we have, uh, we have a wallpaper that is themed after an anime, I think, in universe, but I don't think it's but not the, Julianne. But not this one. Yeah. Okay. I don't think gotcha. it's Julianne themed. Hey guys, can you let me work? Seriously though, it's the second note that's stirred such feelings in me. Second one? Two weeks ago, I got another note in the mail. This one is from Lenore. Was well, that the envelope you took away from me in a panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? Why not open it with Gabby? If you're facing one fear, might as well fear face the other. Kill two fears with one panic. Letter. <laughs> with one letter, yes. Maybe. Don't push her, Chief. I'm not. I just know she's capable of doing all that. I'll go secure stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. <laughs> Keep it up, Jill. Keep up. Keep hanging on, Jill. Keep on trucking. You'll make it through it. Thanks. Thanks. Welcome. Let me guess. Welcome to Valhalla. <laughs> happy holidays. Someone's happy. 
We held a party for the staff and their children. You should see the faces of those kids receiving gifts. Nabbing that Santa suit at the last minute on the other day was totally worth it. Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. I heard they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, sorry for that. An outburst. Why? You look so happy. I felt happy too. You shouldn't hide your happiness. Um. Anyway, can you get me a cobalt velvet, please? Uh, sure. Absolutely. Cobalt velvet. I wonder if we'll have memorized a drink by the end of this this playthrough. Nope. <laughs> Fair oh. enough. I like the honesty. <laughs> Here you go. She looks so happy to receive one. <laughs> Let me uh, address the lumbar support of my chair. Mm. There we go. Now I'm. Now I am ninety degrees upward. I cannot. I cannot slouch like a shrimp. Nice. Yeah. Next. Are you meeting with Say today? She should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted a drink, and since I was coming here too, sadly, I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. How has she been recently? She's better. Her wounds have healing. Her have been healing really nicely. If only she stopped scratching at her bandages so often. What about her eye? Eye? Oh, she has a complex about her eye. Oh, oh, her. Sorry. <clears throat> I'll take the longer. It'll take longer to heal. But as long as it's kept clean, there shouldn't be no problem. But to be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. She doesn't show it, but she's had depressive bouts from time to time. And who could blame her? Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists. She's used as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affair. I'm afraid it will take all... It will all make her go back to her old ways. Hmm. Old ways? Hmm? There was a rough spot when Say was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close. Then her biological father, who was an asshole, showed up. And the teachers at her school didn't help. Say is not a slow learner by any means, but her way of learning stuff is different. She needs equivalences to her things she knows. You need to go get a bit on her mindset. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but schools don't have that kind of patience. They basically branded her a failure. She even dropped out. I would have suggested a special course somewhere else. But that would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled as special or different. Anyway, Say was totally different during that period. Mm. Foul mouth, short fused. Always frowning, the total opposite of how she is nowadays. From time to time, I see that old look across her face and it scares me. Wow, I, I wasn't expecting that from Say. Mm. You're comparing her to her teen self, though. People mature. Maybe she shows signs from time to time, but I bet Say knows better than go back to that. I hope so. Get me something cold and sweet, would you? Sure. Cold and sweet. I think I've heard that one before. So something on the rock that's sweet. Yep. Also, I'm getting a little bit of background noise from your mic. That's not possible. <laughs> uh, shouldn't be possible. Um, hmm. I don't know why that is happening. I do not have any other uh feed other than my one microphone going through hmm. let me check my discord 
Yeah, Couldn't be any feedback. I was gonna say if it if it's gonna be an issue, then we don't need to address it right now. Nope. Um, let me see. Um, I am not hearing any feedback. I uh, don't know. It might be on your end. It might be. I might need to look into that. But I was definitely yeah. hearing some like like white noise. Hmm. Shouldn't I mean I haven't I mean we use that I use that uh those uh VST plugin to reduce anything other than the sounds that a human ear human ear can hear. And uh should be noise cancellation too. Hmm. I'll issue next. Moon blast. Here we go. Rocks and mix. Sweet girly happy. Six out of hide. One flanger guy. And one powder delta, you're right. And two commerchin. All on the rocks and blend. Indeed. There we go. Moon blast. Moon blast. Here. Thanks. This is the kind of stuff Say asks for, you know. Now that you mention it. So I take it Say's family situation is exactly fine and dandy, huh? It's a mess they've tried to fix over time. And I'm glad to say they've actually done it. Say's mom had a really abusive relationship with Say's biological father. Sadly, like many women in this situation, she just tried to justify his actions. But apparently, things got nasty with Say's mom, Miss Emmy, got pregnant. At that point, she had an epiphany, one could say. She didn't want that guy to raise her child. So she finally sought help. Things weren't so easy, though. Before the authorities could take him away, Miss Emmy got a serious beating from him. Fuck. Again, everyone, this uh, this game has some tough topics. Just fair warning. Mm. Um, can go into dark territory sometimes. She still uses a cane to walk, thanks to that. She moved here. Sam was born. She started her veterinary clinic. So did he come back? He was drunk. Couldn't find any drugs. So he made it to this city. He caused a ruckus for a couple of days until Say managed to scare him off. How? She beat him to near death three times. That'll do it, I suppose. Yeah. Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but... Oh, don't worry. I laugh too. The dramatic irony there is delicious. I've been wondering, can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Mm -hmm. I mean, the streets are not exactly safe. And a cat boomer is sure to come uh, become a target. Well, I have my security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is comfier. Uh, come again? Sure, uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure. But it's also too sterile. Around there, around here, you can actually feel the warmth of the people. You feel there's people living. And I especially like going to a busy food stand. I feel the warmth there that Uptown just doesn't have. It's also easier to talk to people. You finally came. Welcome. If you try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary. They're also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice. Uh, not that things aren't nice there, though. I get you something. I feel like having a beer. Make that too. But I just want one. <laughs> sweetheart. Oh, sweetheart. I'm asking one for me, and one to your order. I'm being very patient with you right now. Oh, that. <laughs> right. 
two beers for the girls. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can remember this. I was going to say, there is Flanner Guide. All right, let's see if you got it, Sheps. Yeah, let's go! Yeah. Let's go! I finally memorized it! All right, we did it. <laughs> yeah! We have exceeded our limits. <laughs> we don't need no guide! I want a clip of that if someone's watching. <laughs> <laughs> let's fucking go. Nice. Ah. Yeah. Thank you. Man, now I'm that was... <laughs> pardon for interrupting, but I'm imagining now just just uh Jill doing that in character behind the desk. And and Gil runs up to like cheer her on and like and the boss picks her up and swings her around and there's like <laughs> and these two are like, What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to order drinks here. <laughs> Excellent. A wonderful, a wonderful world that we've painted. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Stay. You should you should have seen the kids after you left. They were all playing with the toys you picked. You nailed it again this year. They were all asking, where say? Where say? Why don't they call you just Say when they call me Auntie Stella? I don't look that old. <laughs> don't worry, they still like you. Sorry I had to leave, but Mom worked overtime that night and I couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, there were fireworks, then some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in a jar. <laughs> old guy managed to get his head in, pawn, in a pawn side before getting stuck. And it was plastic, so they couldn't just try to break it. That's messy. She needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll have a New Year's party this Saturday if you want to come. Sure. It's better than depressing myself to my dad's woes about the next fiscal year. I'll be here. Bye, Jill. Bye, say. Careful. Please come again. You want to come too? I'd love to. I had a, I'll also make up for not coming last time. How was the party? Uh, pretty nice. We played truth or dare. Had some fun. Broke some glasses. Ate lots and lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number of people that who were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Can I get you something? Let's try something classy. Okay. Let's get something classy and girly. All right. Uh, classy. Classy. Those are classy. Oh, no. Cl classy. Uh, mercury glass. Uh, sour classy burn me. I think. Fringe with cobalt elf. Fantini. Sweet classy happy. That's pretty nice Fantini? for her, I think. Yeah. I think so. Want to do that? Sure. All right. How, I don't I'm know how you describe a drink as happy, but. Uh, <laughs> what were you going to say? I don't know now. Oh right, I was gonna say something. Uh, so yeah, are you a are you a leftovers appreciator, chefs? I am. I just had some leftover uh, oven baked macaroni I made the other day. Nice. It was fantastic, handmade. I even shredded my own cheese. Ooh, very nice. Yes. So yeah, I've I known highly a lot recommend. Of people... oh. Go ahead. I've known a lot of people who are very strongly not uh, leftovers appreciators, as I put it. I wonder if they're even human. I've known some you know? people who will not not only not eat leftovers or will prefer not to eat leftovers, but who will, if there's any food left over after a meal, they will throw it away immediately. 
SMH my head. Shake my SMH. Shake my SMH. Truly mm. tragic. Mm. That's that's Oops. awful. Ooh, I like the song. I'm glad I chose it. But yes, I really, I really nice do like the game displayed what song was playing. Um There's probably we can probably check that. There we go. Yeah. There, there it is. Yeah. All right. Anyway, Set the you were stitch. saying? Uh highly uh, like especially pasta. Pasta is amazing. Sometimes sometimes makes the taste makes it taste a little bit better, in my opinion. Mm. Malt pasta, spaghetti. Because it it has time, it, it, the sauce has time to soak into the noodle, so it it has a, a different kind of consistency. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Indeed. Oh, this I like this beat. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. 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 I like this beat. All right, continue. Yep, this is the thing. Stella came in quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, her birthday is actually the 25th. Uh, uh, really? There's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow she got into her head that by being born on the 25th, she was the spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa. That made her start giving out <laughs> gifts like crazy. Ah, oh, that's that's really cool. <laughs> she got over it, but the gifting stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation? Well, the story says that the Redmond family destroyed Santa's spirit. And that Mega Santa was reborn as a mega manifestation of the Christmas spirit. She thought she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. <laughs> that girl was delusional as a kid. Speaking of things you did when you were young, Stella mentioned she's worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you were angry or something? Oh, that. It's sweet that she's worried. But I won't go back to those days just like that, though. Even if I face the same situation, I'm more mature, you know? I'm not a teen anymore. That's what I told her. I'm expecting as much told her as much. Hey, can you give me something bubbly? Well, she's kind of, she kind of changed the subject quite, a, quite quickly there. Hmm. She did. Sure. Something bubbly for a bubbly girl. Oh. Um, bubbly. Flavor. Well, we've already given out her a beer and we gave Stella a cobalt velvet. Fringe Weaver. Do we want to get her drunk? <laughs> it's a it's a bubbly drink. Let's see what happens. We could we could try the frothy water. Yeah, but that's not really a drink, is it? <laughs> I mean, it's a beverage. You consume it. Uh, we don't, don't have to if you don't want to. We don't have to if you don't want to. It's like giving someone. It's like giving someone a cola, like a like a soda, but it's it's not a soda. It's just it's just like water with Kool Aid juice in it. You know the little pack, the little, little packets you squirt into the in the water. That's what this is. I don't believe it's I've insulting. experienced such a thing. You you never. Oh, well, that's because you're. Oh, that's right. You're in the future. It probably doesn't exist if we're during your timeline. Yeah. I think they they probably well, they, already they had, have, yeah. But they, 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 so there was this, this there's this thing there was these things called like squirts like like Kool Aid squirts where you can like it it doesn't really contain any sugar but it contains artificial flavor but believe it or not that they they used to make art flavor artificially and they would squirt it into water like a little bit and it would make it taste like Kool Aid but it wasn't actually Kool Aid it was your brain thinking it was Kool Aid hmm. yeah. We do. Anyway, we do have powdered drinks left over, but no, gotcha. none of the such things that you have described. Gotcha. The wonders of this era. Mmm. Drinkers' favorite beer, or is that since 2014? Um, let's get. Let's see what happens. 
She's a big girl. She can handle a big drink. For those that are watching that have never played this game before, Karmatrin is this game's uh, alcohol content. So this is a lot of alcohol content. Yes, because you can have, I think, up to 20 ingredients in a given drink. And this yes. is nine. So this is Correct. approximately approximately 50% of the possible amount of beverage you can have in a beverage. And yes. it's alcohol. Um, next. Here. Bubbly bubbly. Oh, she likes it. Hey, Jill, this might seem a bit random, but, uh, you remember the first time I came here? Uh-oh. I hope there's no multiple choice. Yeah, you're the second white knight I've served. I remember. Why? Precisely because of that. I've been meaning to ask you about that story. How was your other experience with a white knight? I had to put it simply. The total opposite of you. Oh? She came here as a part of her work, looking for information on some case. I went through the motions, offering her a drink and all that, but she came only for her job. First I thought she was just another private eye, but she showed me her badge and all. What kind of case was it? Hmm. I wouldn't know. She never told me, but she asked if I saw some people. She got some pretty intense she got pretty intense when I told her I had no idea what that who she was talking about. Was asking about. I should just I suggest she asked the vending machines outside, and they told her the suspect climbed on them. She got her info and she left. Pretty professional, if a bit intimidating. She seemed personally invested in the case, though. The way she lost her cool was suspicious. You seem to be pretty good at reading people, Jill. I mean, that's my job. Makes me kind of jealous. Eh, I'm not good at that. It's just a coincidence that I noticed it. But you noticed it. I'm not good at reading people. Even if the cue the cue was thrown in my face, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'm sure you can compensate with another skill. Any particular reason you've asked me about that event? Not really. I just found the fact that I was the only other white knight you've served weird. I mean, really? Just two? Weird, I know. I spent most of my life with almost no interactions with White Knights until I met you. Means you've had a nice life, then. But that sounded creepier than I thought. A bit, yeah. Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Please come again. I'm gonna take my break, Gil. Sure. Yay! I like Gil Gil's profile here. Mm -hmm. He's handsome. He has a handsome profile. Indeed. That's probably Gil right here. <laughs> I think that's... I think that's... Uh, that's Dana. the boss? Yeah. That's the boss. So, I, I, that's that's Chill. That's Stella. I don't know who this is. That is... That's, I think that would be... Dorothy. You're probably right. Well, goodbye, day one. The time has been erased. I hope we don't get in trouble from the Time Bureau. I wonder if I left food for four. <laughs> I like I like her mid-game musings. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm here. Speaking of Dorothy. Um, Dorothy. You won't get through the bar anytime soon. You can stop. Walking. Ah, honey. It, you want something? The, the usual, I guess. Usual. Usual. The usual. I wonder what's wrong with her. Hmm, the usual. The usual. Hmm. I must confess, I do not recall what the usual is in this particular case. I think it's the Piano Woman, if I recall correctly. That's definitely a drink that I can associate with her in my mind. Yes. 
Mm, let me let me make sure. We're going for the best ending, folks. There is no room for error in the life of a bartender. Okay, piano woman. Bronson extract. I love how it's called Bronson as extra. All aged and mixed. Indeed. Hefty drink this is. Yeah. Never noticed that before. Here. This is this is nice. 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 Okay, you're freaking me out. What's up with you? Hey, honey. How do you know what's real? How so? I mean, how do you know if what you see is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? What tells me I'm not just a simulation on a computer? This is getting meta. <laughs> and those ponderings brought you to the bar? What? Oh, I'm in the bar. And am I? Dorothy? So you're having a solipsistic crisis of sorts? Solip what? Solipsism. The theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. See? That's another thing right there. That word. Solipsism. What does it mean? What does it even mean? Where the hell did it come from? Well, solace means alone, and ips means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make noises? And decide, hey, let's make this noise mean this. It doesn't make sense. Words don't make sense. Mmm. 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 Word don't make sense, pouty face. <laughs> I've been repeating words for a long time. They stop making sense. Why? That's kind of happened. When you say a word over and over again, it starts to sound like noise. Dispenser fall. Yes. Let's calm down. That's just semantic satiation. Stop making up words, honey. And then there's this counter. How can it be sure this counter is really here? It is. Please stop tapping it. Hold on. Just, just making sure. I, I should make her a drink. At the very least, I have something to throw at her. Um. All right, we're in what? the dark here. We are in the dark. Sip. Oh, yeah. Speaking of sipping, have you been keeping hydrated chips? Oh, thank you. Um, I don't have water. Oh, no. Oh, no. Unfortunate. Oh, no. This is day 15, right? Day 15 of, of the game? Yes. That sounds approximately correct. Okay. Um, let me see. Let's read it. Let's read it. Sweet, happy. Any drink. It says any drink. Okay. Uh, throw any drink at it. It can be any, literally any drink. That sounded about right. Sunshine Cloud. That sounds great. Optional karma train. Are you sure we will rocks... be deeply loading her up with karma train when she's already having a crisis? <laughs> I don't know. I've already made my decision. <laughs> well, if you want me to back up, I I will back up. I mean, we can you can do whatever you want. You're the you're the actual bartender here. I'm just the advisor. <laughs> Sunshine cloud. Stop time the counter so much. I am this close to close this at your face. 
Oh, sorry. So let's start from the beginning. Since when did you have this existential crisis? Since earlier today, I think. I was remembering the good times I had with my, with my guardian. But I don't know. It was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened for a week ago until now. How much fun I was having. How much I loved everyone around me. And out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? What is fun? Are those feelings real? Is all that real? Am I real? What tells me is that... What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just on a computer somewhere thinking it has a body? What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? What tells me that you're real? Eh? For all I know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination. Or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's a human. I've been there, Dorothy. That existential doubt and crisis. That uncertainty is about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but... I remember having panic attacks and scratching my arm to feel something. The panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch and the fear got worse. What did you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World. One of my favorites. At one point I cried when the book and I... with the book and I realized... I was crying over fake things, a story and its characters. I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that too? Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I still care about you. That's what I told myself, at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. Whatever your experience is, that is, that is what reality is for you, basically. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, that's a that's a good lesson. Hey, can I take this drink? I made it for you. Thanks. Okay then. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why is she trying to feel something? Is she trying to again prove that she exists? Maybe. It might. It might just be that she heard that we were planning to throw this on her, and she just sort of decided, you know what? Let's follow through with that. <laughs> you. Why didn't you throw it on your head? To feel something you made. Exactly. And? It burns and ditches a bit. That'd be all the karma turn, I suppose. I'll get you a towel. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll voice. Delivery yeah. for... Dana, Z oh, I've been here before. It's 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 oh, yeah, Canada. Yeah. <laughs> it's Canada. <laughs> it's the Akira uh, wannabe, the Great Value Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. You Mario. do in fact voice him, so. Mr. Mario, welcome back. I have a delivery. I don't remember how I voiced him. Shit. I think. You sort of did, like, a young guy trying to sound tough kind of voice. I have a delivery for Dana Zane. Who's that? She's my boss. I'll get her for you. Right. Sign here, please. Big package. That's what she said. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's something perishable, maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. Let's see... It's a wiener. <laughs> I was smicking. I, I did not know what was in there. <laughs> it was a big package. A really big wiener. <laughs> uh, the, I love how Dorothy picked up. Perked up immediately. Great. Hey, honey. Hmm? 
the big package had a big wiener inside. <laughs> what will your boss do with such a thing? I don't know how she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll chop it? Honey. Seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. <laughs> Maybe you could prepare some right now. What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? <laughs> Seriously, Jill? <laughs> I want to the jokes. And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway, we all know if we dare cook this without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. She'll hang me upside down. Hey, Jacob boy, what's your name? I'm... I'm Mario. Come on, Mario, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. He might have another delivery, you know. This is the last one, actually. I accept your offer. I'll have a sunshine cloud. I just gave her one. And you? I'm fine. I just made this. Wow. You did. Sunshine cloud. Bronson extracts. Optional carmichin. Here you go. Take Bronson it like... Blended. That's right. He likes girly drinks. That's right. He tries to act tough, but he likes sweet girly stuff. He does. That's yes. cute. Yeah, on the rocks and blended. Yep. There you go. There you go. Here. Thanks. Hey, um, call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. Y yeah, Dorothy, uh, why'd you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swim that way. What way, Lillum? I'm a man's man. I like men, okay? I, I play for the other team. Not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was just thanking you. Thanking me? Your package left me see Honey here laughing like an idiot. It's easier than you think. <laughs> that made me happy, and I don't know. It fit with what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm when I'm entered. Then when I'm when I enter, I thought. Oh no! I, I thought she said entered. Let me re let me reread that. I'm more calm when than when I entered. There we go. There you go. <laughs> glad to help. Glad to help. I guess. Well, duty calls. Bye, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, Honey. Enjoy your big wiener. Out with you. She seems like a nice girl. I don't mean for it to sound like I... I get it, I get it. Don't worry, if you like guys, it's clear. Speaking of, you like motorcycles, don't you? I do, yeah. Have you been to the motor district? I spent all my free time in the motor district, actually. Why? Is it true that they say about all the illegal races going on there? You're not a cop, are you? As far as I remember, no. Hmm. Well, I mean, there are illegal races, but there's also a semi-legal league going on there. Semi-legal? How? What? What? I assume that means that they are authorized, but they have some illegal activity that goes on. I mean, if or it brings perhaps... business, I mean, the cops will look the other way if it's if they get bribed hard enough. Hey, uh, live Turt reaction. How you doing? How you doing, Turt? Welcome in. Yeah, if uh, the cops are bribed and hard enough, I, I, I mean, in this, d uh, this d despot, uh, this destitute future. Dystopian? Of, this, yes, that's the word. Dystopian future. That doesn't it quite make destitute. it legal, though. Yeah. True. Or even semi-legal, I should say. The authorities acknowledge that there's races going on. I don't know what's going on in them. Uh, going on in them, however. You're right, Tervinius. You're very right. Hmm. Modified engines, casualties, substance abuse. The legal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh. 
Have you heard about a biker called Christine Love? Miss Love, of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is her game as dangerous as they say? We're, we're recalling the story from the Augmented Eye. Yeah. We are is well read. As, yeah. Is her game as dangerous as they say? I wonder if we didn't read... Um, I wonder if we didn't read uh, the Augmented Eye, it would, this would turn out differently. That's a good hmm. question. Is her game as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. Excuse me? They look intimidating enough, but truth is that nobody has faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to be on the one that's got beaten to a pulp if they turn out to be the what they seem. So her game is just there, menacingly doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. Oh. Do you want anything else? I'll have a piano man. All right. A piano man for a piano man for Mario. Indeed. So yeah, we know Three. that. Oh, mm -hmm. I was gonna Go say ahead. we know that Adelheid is sweet, and we know Carmatrin is alcoholic. Do we know what the other flavors are? I'll, I'll, uh, this is alcohol. This is sweetness. Um, this might be bitterness because hmm. it says it's strong. This is this is probably sweet. This is probably this is called, this flavor guide. It might be sourness. This might one of these two is bitterness. So it's like bitterness, sourness, sweetness, and something else, and alcohol. Mm -hmm. That makes sense to my brain. I was going to say, it could also just depend on the exact way that they're mixed and all that. And, you know, some of the finer details are simply not shown for, you know, simplicity's sake. Right. I gotta go do something no one has ever seen before. Get decent sleep. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you should probably do that. Uh, I'm having a subathon on Saturday, so... Um... If you are awake by then, I'll be playing games. I'll be playing games for over 24 hours, so it's impossible to miss me. <laughs> I'll also be seen, so look forward to that. Um, piano man. Here. Yeah, this is nice. This will sound weird, but do you believe in Replobots? Replobots? There's the belief that some Willem out there are designed to perfectly replicate a human, a particular human. All right, uh, have a good one. Bye bye. Farewell. That someone or something replaced those humans with such Willem. So, like, replicants. Thus, they call them replobots. So, um, that one movie with the replicants. I was gonna say there's probably a, there's probably several movies with that premise. Uh, like one of the first cyberpunk movies, like cyberpunk. Okay. Unfortunately, I am out of my depth when it comes to movies. Mm, I I should know this. I should fucking know this. Um, I'm looking this up because I, I need to know. Fair enough. Blade Runner. Mm. Blade Runner. That's the whole premise of Blade Runner is that um, you got a uh, like they're bio bioengineered humanoids that look like other people that mm. shouldn't be. And um, yeah. Anyway, Blade Runner. Plotline. They're calling. They're making homage to that right now. You know a lot about this skill. I don't. It's in most, most magazines nowadays. Well, it's the first time I've heard of it. What about it? On my way here, I almost ran over my neighbor. He just showed up in the middle of the street. And I said almost because he moved really quickly out of the way. Then I went to deliver a package, and somehow my neighbor was there. Almost immediately after the whole thing. And then he, and he was there the whole time. 
Maybe someone that looked like him? He had the same looks, clothes, and mannerisms. Trust me, you know a perfect replica when you see one. If you saw the kid Lilim here, they could easily pass off as humans. There are even Lilim idol singers nowadays whose voices can pass off as human. They could be passing off as humans under their own very noses. Replicating, replacing us little by little. At this point in time, I really doubt it. Lilim behavior is a bit different. We can easily tell someone's a Lilim because they seem... How do I put this? They don't care about risk and danger as much as we do. They treat risks with a lot more leniency. Still, be careful. Keep an eye out for uncanny doppelgangers. I'm leaving. Thanks for everything. Please come again. What's your take on the Replobot thing? Do you believe in them? Do you? Not really, but I asked you first. When I was in high school, I had this irrational feel fear of aliens. I was paranoid that they would come. What would I do then? I remember I lost lots of sleep because of it. That doesn't answer my question. Maybe I was leading up to it, Gil. Let me finish. God! After many months of fear, I reached a conclusion that might as well apply here. It's useless to be afraid. About a simple woman, I wouldn't be able to do shit against them. So I'd rather live without being afraid. Because the memories of not being afraid would be the only solace when the nebulae crabs invade. <laughs> I mean, when the Replobots come. Hmm. Jill, are you still afraid of aliens? You, you're the butt monkey. I will punch you in the face. A part of it's useless to be afraid. Did, didn't you catch? Right. Back. Did anything happen? I discovered I have the sense of humor of an eight-year-old. Did anything new happen? We have a huge sausage. Hey. They brought you a package. Ah, yes, my curated wiener. <laughs> I, 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 I went through all the wieners in the factory, and I made sure I got the correct one with the correct amount of girth. <laughs> what the fuck? A gift from my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. You guys want some of it? You there, Sheps? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. If you I'm if you here. were laughing oh. there, I did not I did not hear it. That's fine. I went nuts. You're good. Continue. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway. That's a new one. Hey, we're done for today. Kids, have some pocket money. I'm out of excuses. <laughs> Flawless service, zero mistakes. Today's payment. Total funds. We need 10,000, right? Something like that. 10,000 for rent? Rent is due yes. on the 30th. Please make sure your account has the necessary 10,000 or you'll be evicted. Immediately. Joe wonders if Maneki Nekos actually bring luck. But I want to prevent her from getting too distracted. All right. We'll do that next time. All right. Don't forget to save. That's what I am right now. Oh, we have we have 4chan and augmented die. All right, let life back up. And there we go. Basically. We are saved. And with that, we are done for today. Indeed yeah. we are. All right. That was a good... These are usually short, chill streams. Mm -hmm. I I like I like having these short, chill streams when uh, on uh, every other day I'm super loud and explosive. This gives me a time to just settle down. <laughs> Meanwhile, these oh, yeah. are the only days that I've been streaming recently, so... Yeah, like I said, I'm glad I'm able to be the conduit to the streaming, your streaming experience. Indeed. It's fun. Let's find someone to raid. Let us, indeed. If you, wa if you wanted to f uh, raid together. Of course. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Did I... 
think I chose last time, didn't I? Yeah, let me... Yeah, I'll go ahead and choose. Sorry. I don't want to raid into anyone playing the, the funky, the wacky Zelda game. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to get spoiled. Fair. Um, so half of the people on my list are currently playing the wacky Zelda game. Unfortunate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I haven't raided into Octocopy in a while. Let's mm -hmm. raid into Octocopy. I'll give you that name, unless you're on my stream. Uh, um, I am, but I'm on I'm on the stream on my other computer. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't be able to copy paste it. I gotcha. I gotcha. I'll go to my Discord. Octocopy. They gotcha. are an alien. They're an alien octopus, and their and their uh, pronouns are they them. And uh, they are currently playing. Not the funky a game, Zelda game. I cannot. Not the funky Zelda game. Chibi Robo. They're playing hmm. Chibi Robo. Yeah. Let's go say hi. All right. Let me get the raid set up. We need to. We need to catch up. All righty, everyone. Thank you so much for lurking, stopping by, just chilling in my stream appreciate you all this saturday is big for me it's my first subathon my two years of streaming and uh 300 followers it's going to be great i've been doing so much preparation for it um so look forward to that um it's going to be every five subs i'll be singing i'll be doing some singing for 41 minutes and 45 seconds straight i know i know i know that because uh, I did, I, I I counted the amount of minutes. But uh, anyway, yeah, look forward to that. Anything you want to promote for my, uh, for the time being? Uh, at this point, I'm still working on getting back into streaming. Uh, I have no specific plans right now. Uh, so in short, no. All right, all right, everyone. Uh, you want to say your outro? Yes. So. Thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all for... Or, yeah. I messed it up. Curses. Tragedy. Oh well. Customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>